The Zero to Hero series is going from strength to strength as we lock in yet another victory on our path to crafting more cards. This squad is built up of a bunch of zeros, guys that cost next to nothing on the so rare market to show you guys who have been around the block once or twice or any beginners how to start building your squad and how to start building, uh, you know, getting wins on a budget. And in the video today, we've got our latest scouting mission to have a look at with the Flying Goalie Special Weekly. As we scout ahead for that, we'll be pulling out the card card winner from last week's video as well as setting up the scouting mission for the giveaway in today's video at any point if you do laugh you learn you like something or whatever please do like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and if you're brand new to so rare and you haven't even opened up your account yet there's a link in the description in this video that will get you 50 dollars pounds euros whatever your currency is of market credit to help you go out and reinforce your squad no matter what extra bonuses and giveaways so rare are doing that link in the description in this video is always loaded up with all the Brucey bonus free beginner stuff that's always available. So no matter when you're watching this, click on that link and you'll get set up with all the stuff you need to get your account up and running. If you get stuck, if you've got any questions, jump into the comment section and I'll come and sort you out, of course. And uh, yeah, let's just get stuck straight into it. Because like I mentioned in the intro, we have locked in yet another win. We're collecting another box. We've finished in the top 7% of the Catanacho Special Weekly. Sadly, our Catanacho element really did let us down. Ben Henricks on a 33. Hinchapi with an error led to go, only bringing in a 29. But double decisive JPH up front with a 95. Double decisive Ryman in goals, by the way. What a zero to hero goalkeeper he is. Pen save and a clean sheet away from home and Captain Teji bringing in 111 points just about squeaked us finishing in the top 2% on a competition with 35,000 entrants is no mean feat at all and we're looking forward to collecting this box when the game week officially closes and we'll see how much essence we get in to our so rare factory to add on to the free essence that we've got sitting there waiting anyway. We come into this midweek but with some Champions League Europa, Europa Conference League action up and running and already set out the lineups. We're able to go for another warm-up effort where we're only playing one limited card and we're playing four commons in the under 23 special. Now, we are going to be fielding the Hinchapi in this one. I did say in the last video that we would give away Hinchapi to a random comment. But JPH, Jens Peter Hweig, has European football to play, but he only actually has like a couple of domestic games left. And I want to get him out into one of your galleries so you can use him for the domestic fixtures as well as the European ones. So we'll be giving away the JPH in the comment section of the last video. And in the comment section of this video, for sure, 100%, we'll give away the Piero Hinchapi. Because it's all eyes on this weekend's special weeklies for the Zero to Hero series. We actually have two special weeklies that we could attack. There's a Cap 220 that I was very interested in trying to, you know, lean the team in towards. But some of the Zeros we've got have actually been performing pretty well. And the average, you know, um, SO5, you know, the L15's the average scores we've got for a lot of our guys is in the high 40s, mid 50s. So... We would have to be finding an L15 of zero and having done some preliminary scouting, there's not really many, if any of them, floating around. So I feel like the flying goalie competition would be the one that we would try and attack. This competition, you'd have no fixed position. You can play five strikers, five mids, anything you want. And the prize pool seems pretty generous. We've actually got four stars in this one, whereas compared to Cap 220, we only have three. So I think this one will be a lot more fiercely competitive. It will be much harder to get back into that top five or seven percent. But that's certainly what we're going to be aiming for, is to get one of these premium boxes rather than one of the light boxes that we've picked up this weekend. But if we pick up anything, of course, it's going to be a massive W. Now JPH we're going to give away in the video today so we won't be able to call upon him and one of you guys in the comment section of this video is going to pick up the Piero Hinchapi. So we don't actually have much of a roster here. I think Teji Severnier at home to Lille they'll have Champions League midweek. He's going to be halfway okay I suppose. And Diego Aspas away to uh, Espanyol could do half okay. And then the rest of the guys we've got here, like, yeah, sure, they might do okay, but I don't think they set us off to go into this competition all guns blazing. So the mission I've set myself is going back to type here. We're looking for absolute zeros, guys that cost next to nothing that could have an absolute smasher of a game this game week. Now, this year, in the absence of Football Manager 25, I've went out and found a new Football Manager game for me to play and get stuck in with this year. It's called Meta Football League MFL. It's all based on fictional clubs and players. You open your own club, you name it, you design the badge. And with some of the AI image generation that's out there, there's some really fun and interesting clubs that people have made in this game. And it's basically an open network match where you're always competing against other real players that have their own squads, their own players that they're developing and bringing through the ranks. 
across a number of different divisions depending on what level of the game you choose to enter. You're competing for glory, you're competing for recognition of course on the leaderboards but there's also actual money attached to these competitions as well where it's not just you playing football manager and just like oh, I'm going to win the Champions League with my favourite team. You can actually take on other managers from around the world and compete for cash. If you're interested in checking out MFL I've got a bunch of videos on the channel that show you how to open an account and beginner mistakes to avoid and that sort of thing and by clicking on the link that's in the description of this video you'll get all the beginner Brucey bonus free stuff to get yourself started as well as supporting me and all the content here at the channel so I thank you in advance if you do so if you get stuck or if you've got any questions about starting up on MFL jump into the comment sections and I'll come and sort you out now I've already jumped around the Soraya market and I'm looking at guys this weekend that have a fixture that has something on the line that they could maybe you know be a massive contributor of ideally guys that are undervalued and have went right under the radar and the top guy that jumps out for me is an old favourite on this channel and that is Jerry Moreno he is back from yet another injury and he's racked in an 82 off the bench with one decisive against Osasuna and he is looking very likely to be playing this weekend for Villarreal as they host Girona who will be playing midweek Champions League football and generally Girona don't do two games a week very well and if Moreno starts this very likely get decisive is 8 a is tip top solid and really at £1.66 is a very easy addition for the position we're in right now to go and try and attack this flying goalkeeper solid AA very decisive capable and a little bit under the radar price wise for me another player that's came up is ML Forsberg who to much to my dismay uh, New York Red Bulls or New, New <laughs> Red Bulls Red Bull, New Jersey, whatever you want to call them, have progressed to the Eastern Conference Final where they'll be taking on Orlando in a one-off game to see who goes to the MLS Cup Final. And for me, seeing ML Forsberg here under a pound, especially here at 83 pence, it feels like he would be an absolute ace pickup of a zero. A guy that can sp spike and hit really big scores, but, you know, like is maybe a bit under the radar at the moment. And with him having very limited utility on the horizon, we're able to pick up an absolute bargain. And really, it's a big part of the beauty of this competition where I don't care what position these guys are as long as they're capable of breaking through that 70 mark chasing down 80, 90, 100 points they are going to be of interest to me both of these guys combined Jerry Moreno and Forsberg £2.50 for me is an absolute steal I have been teetering on whether to add a Sergio Canales into the fold again under £2 very dominant set piece taking midfielder but they're about to set up a two legged quarter final in the Liga MX like playoff the final stages against Pumas the first leg of that is in the midweek, so when it comes to the weekend for this game, they could be out of it. They might be home and hosed already. So it's a tough one to kind of gauge whether Canales is going to be, you know, played. Is he going to be right up for it? But with this kind of scoring potential at £1.22, it feels very, eh, very, very tempting. Maybe one we'll come back to. Because also in Mexican playoff action, maybe slightly less exciting than Sergio Canales, slightly less PK, but... Uh, certainly one that's got a very uh, <laughs> I've got a bit of a soft spot for and that's Efra Alvarez again circling in around the pound marker so he's been fine he's been great without being you know dead or unreliable consistent the same could be said for Juan Quintero who's also around the 80 pence mark Racing are going to be away to Rosario if memory serves me right and when you look at this I mean you see it's broken up by you know, he was away on international, you know, he's played for Euro he's played against Uruguay, played against Ecuador, as well as like doing quite okay domestically uh, for Racing, but he is a little bit in and out, a little bit hot and cold. And generally these better results, you know, they don't really come away from home sadly, like he will be this weekend. More often than not, it's just a little bit too spotty. But I think Quintero at around 80 pence is very interesting if you know he's going to play. And you know, even if you had to pay a pound for him or something like that, it could be a, a very useful you know, extra player, just the fifth man to get your flying goalie team up and running. And at £2.22, Joseph Pantsling or Pantsling or whatever is a very exciting prospect with the LA Galaxy in the Western Conference final against the Seattle Sounders. LA look absolutely fantastic and with the likes of Puig and Peck, they're just creating all sorts of goal scoring opportunities and I think the Galaxy are going to get into the MLS Cup final but against Seattle in the, the conference final, I don't know if it's going to be that free scoring. I don't know if it's going to be that high scoring. If anyone can do it, it would be the Galaxy. And if they do, Pantsil could be in for, you know, goals galore, could be decisive all over the place. But at £2, with it being like quite a tightly contested match, similar to Canales, not 
totally set on yeah he's one to add in at 83 pence i do find otavio very very tempting this is a guy that's still getting into the portugal national team and you know how strong the portugal national team is these days despite being in saudi arabia he's obviously at club ronaldo which will keep him in the loop with the management team and the agents and all the rest of it they're at home to al sad in the champions league this week and like his scores haven't been that great but for, you know, 80-odd pence. It could be one of the weeks where he brings in one of those 76, one of those 80-point scores. So it's definitely one worth looking at. Similarly, for 55 pence, Luis Gustavo at Sao Paulo at the moment has been very, very solid on 80. But to get those big peaky scores, he needs to get that jammy assist, get that one-off goal that, you know, let's be honest, he doesn't really have that in his bag, does he? So those two big candlesticks do make him look a little bit more appealing than what he is. And against Gremio, maybe he could have one of those games. But 50 pence, you know, it's definitely a player I thought I would feature. And then at £1.33, we have got Juan the Man Brunetta. They're playing their two-legged you know, Mexican Cup thing against uh, Atletico San Luis. So Tigres could be going on here to, you know, go quite far in the tournament and, you know, look at the form that Big Burnett has been bringing. He's got those decisives. The AA is there. We all know that. And after having a bit of a choppy-ish spell, he's not been what he used to be, certainly, when he was back at Santos Laguna or whatever. But he's starting to pick up that bit of form when it comes to the sharp end of the season. And I don't really have much hesitation about adding in a Juan Burnetta. And I think him for like £1.33, Forsberg for like 80 pence, and then... Jerry Moreno for like £1.67. We're not even breaking £4. And we've made three fantastic reinforcements to the squad. If we go back to the lineup builder, let's imagine we stick with Teji. We're happy with him. Let's imagine we keep Aspas. We're happy with him. Let's add in the Jerry Moreno. Let's add in the Forsberg. And let's add in... That's kind of went upside down and backwards for me. Who's the last man? Brunetta. Yes. Yeah, so I feel like this squad, this is a good flying goalie squad, isn't it? All of these guys can smash 70 plus. Maybe Teji doesn't quite have the fixture. I don't know if any of them have necessarily got great fixtures, but a lot at stake, very good makeup of guys, and really who to captain is quite a difficult one. I think the most 100 capable is maybe this Brunetta. So I think I'll go with Captain Him because he is at home. Three mids, two strikers, I'm feeling pretty good. And I think this team is going to slap hard. And this is going to, you know, definitely be top 20% capable, but we're really shooting to go extra high into the top 5%. Now, guys, I must let you know, the top pick that I had for this was actually Riyad Mahrez. But currently £13 for a limited or a rare... I thought this would be a good, this would be a great rare to buy and potentially give away to you guys, but I couldn't bring myself to spend thirteen pound on a Mares for this uh, for this kind of one off thing. So I thought I'd highlight it to you guys, especially the rare. If you're looking to play rare flying goalie, there's only one of them available on the market, and his scores in this AFC Champions League have been absolute rinse master. So. You know, the limited doesn't feel like good thing for Buck, but the rare certainly does. Now, we're set up and ready to go to see who wins the uh, Jan Peter Huig, the JPH, on the last video. If you want to be in with a shout to win the Piero Hinchapi, get into the comment section in this one, and I want to know who is your gangbuster, who's your damn buster for the flying goalie competition. We'll pick one of you guys at random on the next video, and one of these will win the Piero Hinchapi. But the winner of the JPH is Beautiful Mistakes with a Kiss. From forward, I would definitely choose Alberto Moliero as a strong future, superstar vibes, plays in a team that no one watches the games for. It's a great shout on the last video. Thanks very much for that. I think it was the... The Catanacho, we're looking for an extra spot up front, weren't we? So, lovely, lovely suggestion, lovely tip here from Beautiful Mistakes with a Kiss. Congratulations to you, you have won the JPH. Don't forget to enter the comment section on this one and hit the subscribe button to be involved in the next giveaway on the Zero to Hero series. And really now, with the amount of cards that we've just buffed the gallery up with for this competition today, we're now up to 11 and we will be giving away a fair whack of these. I think almost everything we've brought in for the video today, we will be giving away over the next couple of videos, so stay tuned for that. Some of them will be going into hibernation, but hey, you can use them for next year. Jerry Moreno will still be playing football, which will be all good as well. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. On screen are now some other stuff that we've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, retweet, all that good stuff, guys. Stay out of trouble, and I'll catch you on the next one.